I don't think it was a Muslim thing because the Muslims would come in here with guns blazing and blow everybody out. There wouldn't have been just shit on the window. There would have been blood everywhere. Is that a concern that the congregation has with having a storefront? Some people do. Some people don't. I mean, plus some people think that this is, you know, a sleepy, nice, beautiful little village, and it's, it's never, it's not going to happen here. I, I, I don't share that myself. I think we need a little bit more protection because Santa Monica is not the same place that we grew up in and been around. Things change. So what did you detect when you came in on the morning of the vandalism? Was it morning? You no, know, I saw the I saw the rice and it was hard to make out what it was early in the morning. You know, when you don't suspect something, you don't go. And then you start looking out the window and go, wait, what's this stuff smeared? And then you start looking around and you notice that, wait, what, what, what's on this window? And then you start to notice what's ha what happened. And then it becomes very apparent that this was a very, very crude, crude act that was done on the show. Anybody who would like that does not have a menorah and candles, I'll give out as many as I have. But anybody who needs to have, please let me give you. Come over to me and I have for you if you need it. Person came in. We get, we get it occasionally, but this was a little bit more egregious. Came in and he yelled uh, about Hitler and Nazism and Jews, and he made like he had a gun. Da 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 da. And he ran, he ran out because the congregants wanted to stop him. And uh, you know, you don't get one burst into a shul and do that. By the time they were able to turn around in the middle of and he was already running down the street. So I got a picture of him from the back. So put together a. Uh, Menorah lighting. And so at 5 to noon, we started to get the donuts, get the latkes, get the news out, start emailing, start calling, and uh, put it together. And see, everybody just really cares a lot, so they all showed up. Because people are really and not, don't want to see this, especially at this time of year, they don't want to see it ever. But they want to see that we should learn how to uh, get along with each other. And people really came out. Well, were the, were the attendees uh, basically your congregants, or who came? Not at all. These are people from, from the, all over this neighborhood, from all over this West Side area. And uh, Gentiles too. Of, I had Gentiles. I had Muslims over here. I had uh, everybody was here. The police officers. Uh, and I found it so unacceptable. And, and as a Muslim, as, as, as an American, um, and I live some blocks away from here, uh, to me it was a must, it was not a choice. I, 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 I wanted to be here, I had to be here to, to voice, to show to the community my, my support. I grew up as a Jew in Iran and in Germany, and there were many acts of vandalism, specifically in Germany, and the police unfortunately never came to protect us and our community. However, over here, immediately there was a response from, the, from law enforcement and I feel so protected and so grateful and so grateful to be in this country and to know that prejudice has no place in Los Angeles and in America. This, what, what this evening proves is that a little bit of darkness can actually turn, end up bringing a lot of light. There was, it's true there was an act of vandalism, but what it resulted was a lot of light. Many, many people turned up, many more than we thought would have come, which is very heartening and very encouraging. The support that we've seen from all around the country and certainly from the community has been remarkable and very, very heartening. It's been beautiful to see. people. This is, uh, what happened was unacceptable, but the outpouring of love that we've seen has been remarkable, and we're very grateful for that. Were you here when there was an outburst? Someone came in and, and shouted, Heil Hitler? Uh, it, ha it, had it does happen periodically. I mean, there was, there was a guy that, that, that burst in, that, 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 that screamed it this morning. This morning? This morning, this tall guy screaming that Hitler should have finished the job and get out the machine gun and done y'all 
and then the machine gun sound like that. No, no, but he, was, he never came in the building. He just said it through the windows where everybody could hear him. He got everybody's attention, and then he kept going. It's, it, this happened many times on Christmas. Jews didn't leave their houses in Poland and, and in Eastern Europe. Like, out of fear of what the non-Jews would do to them on Christmas Eve. Okay. I'm a Holocaust survivor, and I'm very surprised that something like this could happen in this day and age. I thought we had learned something through the years, but hopefully out of this terrible act will come something very positive. Did, and did the Ju Dutch Jews react uh, to anti-Semitism in a way that they thought it would go away? It was a very assimilated country, and everybody got along. And but then when the Germans came in? And then the help broke loose, and the, the Germans did it, and some of the Dutch sided by, with the Germans, and the more Jews were lost in Holland percentage-wise than any other country. What was the situation in Germany where the police would not come and help? Um, for, for about two years, um, there would be swastikas drawn on our car and on our doorposts and also at my high school. And um, there was very little interest by the police to actually intervene and to do anything. And that was one of the reasons why we moved to the United States. Why, why were the police in a country which is very up on teaching against anti-Semitism, why were they so, uh, so Sorry, lax? this was in the 80s, and I think that okay. things have changed a lot in Germany right now. But well, why were they so lax, even in the 80s? I don't know. You think the police were anti-Semitic? Um, I, I mean, I think that there probably still are strong and undercurrents of anti-Semitism in Europe, which we see now coming to light. What are the, what's the likelihood of anyone who did it, of anyone who's uh, anti-Semitic, that it might have come from a Muslim in your estimation? I, I would be very surprised. You'd be surprised? Uh, I would be very surprised. Uh, nowadays, uh, I would be very, very surprised. Then why does it keep happening from Muslims against Jewish synagogues and Jewish schools, yeah. especially in France, in Belgium, in well, Europe. You know what's happening in France. It's a different story. I mean, I'm here, you know, so I cannot answer to what's happening in France because it's complicated, and I don't live there, you know. So I, uh, I'd rather stay here. And you know, this is a kind of a liberal area, and you would expect there to be a little more. Um, but isn't there a lot of anti-Semitism on the left? There is a lot of anti-Semitism on the left. But, you know, Santa Monica is also like kind of a free-spirited area. And you would expect there to be just a little more tolerance here. And I never saw it when I lived here. I never experienced any anti-Semitism. Things happen. The sukkah was vandalized. Uh, this, uh, this, not this circus, a year ago circus, our circus was vandalized out in the back. And it happens, but we're going to increase the light, we're going to increase the goodness and bring more feeling of good things and feeling of uh, togetherness in, there, in our little corner here in Santa Monica and it will spread out to much more parts of the world. You think uh, Santa Monica and Los Angeles Jews are taking uh, anti-Semitism too lightly? Some places, no. I mean, if you go to Beth Jacob, there's a tremendous amount of uh, security there. Right. Tremendous amount of security. I think people are under the impression that this is Santa Monica. We're off the we're off the beaten path, and uh, this is not as a bigger target as those other places. But how about anti-Semitism in general? Are, are, are Jews too comfortable here, thinking that everyone likes us and uh, we're we're uh, considered just like the rest of Americans? In every generation, it's always been somebody that'll blame the Jews for the for the, for their some something that lacks in their world and their lot. And it, why should this be different? Honestly, why should it be different? You know, uh, I'm sure the German Jews in Germany and in, in, in Berlin were very were, were shocked by the whole ap episode that happened to them, as much as the Jews in Spain, as much as Jews anywhere. So could it happen? Could it happen here? Yeah, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Could happen, why not?